I know it's all about bowling season. It's all about the NFL games. But, Doug, this right here is Wager Watch. We're looking out all across the horizon, all the sports, an amazing sport, NBA. It is time for the fast break. Let's get into it. we got a few games to go over. I'm going to throw them at you. And we're going to start off with one that's making headlines, maybe not for the best reasons, uh, the Pistons at Celtics. Pistons, obviously, an NBA record, 27 in a row. And on the other hand, to add a little more insult to injury, this is going to be our largest point spread of the season. Merry Christmas, Pistons at Celtics, Celtics weighing 17. I like Detroit here. Um, it's a big number. Look, it's the. It, okay. uh, I'm not saying they're going to win. True, yeah, true. The, the great equalizer it's is 17. the point spread. So there is a chance Boston just hits every three because they shoot. I mean, they blew a big lead in Golden State recently because they just kept shooting threes in the second half, even though they had a size advantage. They will live and die by the three. If they hit them all, so be it. But I think Detroit showed me something in the last game. Uh, Cade was Cade Cunningham was outstanding. He was the alpha dog, took over, scored at will. And then Alec Burks, like the Detroit fans want to kill him. Like, he shot a contested three out of a timeout. They asked Monty Williams if he was the uh, play design. He goes, no, the play was for Cade, and he just shot it. And he's laughing after the game and all this stuff. And this was for the record. It wasn't like lost 18 in a row. It was for the record. So I wouldn't be surprised if Burks get benched. I would look into some props maybe on under for him. I got to see what they are tomorrow when they post. But I think the Pistons, like Cunningham led a team meeting afterwards. I think they like want this to end. And they were so close. I mean, they led by five in the fourth quarter. Uh, um you know, against the Nets. Again, this is a different opponent, but 17's a lot. Boston's got Toronto the next game. Maybe they're looking ahead. Christmas week, they were in L.A., the first game back. I think this could be sort of like they're uh, taking the night off, so to speak. And, I, you know, Detroit's got some players. I've talked to oddsmakers who think they're going to get double-digit wins because that's the record is nine wins. I do not, but they do have talent. Like, they start real pl- NBA players, whereas – some of the teams like the Sixers and the Bobcats of yesteryear did not uh, start many NBA quality players. But I'll, I'll, I'll lean to the points here. All right, moving on. Pacers at Bulls. Pacers laying two and a half. I really like this game. So I like the Pacers, but I really like a prop bet. It's They haven't posted yet because they want to get confirmation that Nikola Vucevic, the typical starting center for Chicago, is out. He's expected to miss the rest of the homestand. But Andre Drummond went Barbara Walters in his last start, 2020. Uh, and... The guy is a beast, and his like rebound total was like ten and a half or something. I don't think odds makers truly realize like what his production is when he starts and gets starter minutes. He says he can start in the NBA. I think he still can. He's an absolute beast and gobbles up all those rebounds. And especially when guys are only getting like a stretch of two or three starts, they're gonna really play hard. So not that that production can translate over eighty-two games if somebody else signed him, but all we care about is this one game and the Pacers. You know they have the Chuck and Duck offense. There's gonna be a lot of rebounds. And I don't think Chicago can maintain the three-point shooting because they have DeMar DeRozan who doesn't like three-point shooting. So I think I think the Pacers minus two and a half, they, they can just kind of overwhelm you. And that's what they did in their last game. They pulled away in the second half. I think they uh, I think they get it done here too as well. All right, moving on. Grizzlies at Nuggets. Nuggets laying seven. However, John Morant, they've been undefeated since the guy came back going on four. Yeah, I mean, the comeback, they were down, I think, double digits in the fourth quarter in their last game, one in overtime. I think it stops here, but it looks like Aaron Gordon's going to be out. He had a bunch of stitches because a dog bit him. His dog, it was like crazy over Christmas. And he's a key player. Um, that That's a big number. I would lean to Memphis plus the seven here. We'll see how they fare in the altitude and all that stuff on this on this road trip. But I, I lean Denver. That's, seven points is a lot. All right. Next up, Heat at Warriors. Warriors link two and a half. I mean, Heat games, you know I can't pick right to save my life. And the Warriors, I mean, I had them on Christmas Day as a lean and snuck in by a hook. I, I think their favorite here, I guess I lean them a little bit. I mean, they're getting things right. Kerr's tweaking his rotation. Some of the role players are playing better. I mean, I just hate betting against the Heat, but this is a lean. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's wrap up the fast break. Last up, Hornets at Lakers. Lakers like 13 here. Yeah, Lakers have been painful since uh, winning the in-season tournament here in Vegas. They did get the win outright against OKC. That was a nice win. And, of course, they followed up on Christmas with a loss at home to the Celtics. I lean Charlotte here. They just had a big number covered against the Clippers. Maybe the L.A. flu. I don't think so. But the Lakers typically pound these teams. So I think it's going to land between like 11 and 16. I really think it's going to be one of those like 
games where Charlotte never had a chance. They cut it to eight, timeout, and then they build it back up to 14, and then the scrubs play the last two minutes and decide the point spread. I like it. I like it. Well, hey, if you missed any of the fast break, head on over to our website, onlyplayers.com. It's all broken down there. The recap, all of our picks, Doug picks every morning as well. We update the history. It's all there, and it's free, onlyplayers.com.